it is time again for another hot discussion of Healthy Talk on the Connie Reeves Show. My name is Connie Reeves, and I am your hostess with the mostest here at WNRR Gospel 1380, the original one of a kind. I am just thrilled and excited that you have tuned into our show tonight to listen to us have a conversation. We just want to have a talk about a very important subject about your health. So, as always, I have Coach A.J. Angela J. Neely joining me as my co-host, and we have a spanking brand new co-hostess that we are excited about, Dr. Letitia Forster Scott. And Coach A.J., how are you doing tonight? I'm absolutely wonderful, Connie. It's wonderful to hear your voice and wonderful to be on uh, again speaking about health and, and wellness and just excited for the opportunity. And you? Well, I am so glad to hear your voice tonight also. And Dr. Scott, how are you tonight? I'm doing well. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be a co-host with Coach AJ, and I'm also excited to be a guest speaker on your show. Well, we are excited to have you here, and I'm sure our listening audience will be excited when they hear the two, the subject that we are talking about and how we just make a lively, happy, good conversation so that we can have people be aware, serious subject, but we'll just bring it in a a very lively way. So tonight we're going to be talking about uh, simple steps that you can do to improve your thyroid health. And we also have a new wellness product called Mata Vita Tea that we will introduce you to and probably in the future do a detailed show on our Mata Vita coffee, our healthy, delicious coffee, and on our Mata Vita tea. So I was reading this article that according to Mar. Cola.com, which is a take control of your health website, is that there are simple ways that you can take in order to improve the performance of your thyroid. First of all, let's just talk a bit about uh, the thyroid gland and what it does. I noticed that Whenever I go to the doctor, um, and because I am a diabetic, they'll say, well, let's test your thyroid first. And I'll be like, what's that got to do with anything? Although I do have a doctor that told me once I became diabetic that it affects every part of my body. But I'm not that familiar with what the thyroid gland does. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Dr. Scott? Sure. Okay, well, the thyroid helps to regulate um, different aspects of our body. So the thyroid releases a hormone which helps to regulate our appetite, uh, Mm -hmm. our energy levels, pretty much everything that's associated with um, the metabolism with your metabolism. So the thyroid is an extremely important um, part of our bodies, and um, even though it's small, it's located at the base of your throat. It's a little butterfly shape. Um, And oftentimes when you go into the doctor and they're feeling around in your neck area or down in your throat area, they're checking or they're feeling um, your thyroid. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that they'll look at first. Um, for me personally, I can tell you that I have big eyes and it's not unusual for me when I first meet a doctor for them to always ask me, um, you know, have you ever had your thyroid checked because I have big eyes and one of the symptoms of a thyroid disorder 
is having bulging eyes. Okay. Um, luckily for me, though, um, I've never been diagnosed with a thyroid disorder, but it's not unusual for a doctor to ask me about um, my eyes because I do have big eyes. But basically, the thyroid is, is very important in helping to regulate our metabolism and energy levels. Okay, thank you for explaining that because I, like yourself, I noticed that people with bulging eyes, they usually do have thyroid uh, problems, and I didn't know why. But uh, Coach AJ, how does it affect a diabetic? The, uh, the diabetic typically is or has high blood pressure as a result of the diabetes. And because, mm -hmm. it ha because a diabetic has high blood pressure, many a times the thyroid can, can fall even greater out of balance and, and fall into the hyperthyroidism, which is indicative of Graves' disease, which is indicative of the bulging eyes, or mm -hmm. in the hypothyroidism, depending upon really your, your levels, your calcium levels and, and uh, your vitamin D levels. But, but with a diabetic, because of the glucose uh, that needs to be maintained at a particular range. Uh, when it gets out of its range, it throws the, obviously the insulin is already struggling. Mm -hmm. And so when it's not in balance, you know, during the day uh, with the glucose, there's a series of other, like a domino effect, if you will. And, and I'm sure uh, Dr. Scott will agree that, that when that domino effect is, is, it goes on, it's difficult to get it back into tandemonium or back in balance. So, so I was reading that to improve the performance, um, you need to identify and treat the underlying causes, load up on fresh iodine-rich foods, pay attention to other key aspects of your diet, minimize your stress, stress levels, Make an effort to limit your exposure to toxins. Avoid all sources of, I think this is bromide, as much as possible. Get adequate amounts of sleep and exercise. So let's talk about that uh, a little bit, uh, Coach AJ. What would you suggest that, People who are listening that have this problem, uh, how should they follow the, these uh, points that were mentioned in this article? Or what is more important or less important or is equally important? The most important piece to start with, number one, would be the increase of the iodine in the diet and really assessing your diet and seeing where the pitfalls are and, and really filling in the gaps. So if you find that you do an analysis, uh, a diet analysis for about 14 days and really analyze and really take, take note of what you eat each at each meal, breakfast, uh, a snack, lunch, a snack, dinner, and then something before you go to bed and really write all of that down and confer with a registered dietitian, um, the dietitian can recommend to you foods that are high in iodine and, 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 and in vitamin D and get you put back uh, in balance, if you will. The second piece to that is having a good, I would say, a good personal trainer who can recommend uh, a balanced set of exercises that's reasonable, logical, and will fit into your schedule and, and put you back together as well where it's comfortable and doesn't create stress because you're trying to find time to exercise and then you're trying to find time to eat the right balanced meals, uh, that it just becomes a symphony if you will, uh, of, of music in your body. Just to piggyback on what Coach AJ was saying in terms of, um, you know, finding ways to modify your diet, to fine-tune your diet, to increase um, iodine levels in your diet. A lot of times if you're, if you increase um, certain types of fish intake, um, that will help. In terms of the exercise, um, one of the problems with a thyroid disease, especially if you have hypothyroidism, is the lack of energy and perhaps the lack of motivation to exercise, mm -hmm. whereas exercising can actually be extremely beneficial for someone who is suffering or dealing with issues relative to um, their thyroid. So you definitely 
do want to include um, exercise in your in your routine, even if you are feeling sluggish, because once you begin to exercise, um, you will increase other hormone productions that will hopefully help to balance you out, and eventually you begin to reap the benefits of the exercise and of of being more balanced or and more. Um, I guess, homeostasis with the uh, hormonal production that's going on in your body. Any exercise can help regulate that and help increase some of those other hormones that will hopefully, um, you know, help you to feel better and help your body perform better. So you definitely would like to include regular exercise. And it doesn't have to be... um, highly intense exercise or really vigorous exercise, but it definitely mm-hmm. needs to be uh, consistent. And hopefully, you mm-hmm. again, you'll, you'll reap the benefits of the consistency, um, and then hopefully you start looking forward to the exercise because you begin to recognize that it actually helps you feel better. Well, that's very interesting because, I mean, I know that I do. I have not been diagnosed with a thyroid gland problem, but I still need to be motivated to do exercise. So <laughs> it's uh, something that we all need to do in every aspect of our lives. Wouldn't you say so, Dr. Scott? Definitely, definitely. Um, but when we're talking about particular illnesses or disease, it becomes mm-hmm. even more paramount to understand the connection um, as to why exercise is important. Um, exercise has different benefits um, that are healthy or health benefits um, regardless of whether or not you're looking to lose weight, looking to, you know, increase your strength. Um, that threshold just to accomplish or achieve the health benefits of exercise are different from that threshold when we're looking to, let's say, increase strength, increase endurance, you know, change our our body composition. So we can uh, we can achieve certain health benefits um, from regular exercise that um, don't require some of the same type of continuous training um, when it comes to fitness that we need in order to see some of the other results when it comes to, again, you know, weight loss and changes in body composition. So one of the great things about exercise is that it can be an immediate um, effect when it comes to our energy levels. And if you're dealing with a thyroid problem, um, this can be extremely beneficial because you'll notice this right away as opposed to something that may take you know, mm. six to eight weeks, okay. um, you know, if we're talking about changes in body composition or weight loss or anything like that. So, again, the acute effects of exercise are extremely important when it comes to um, dealing with um, thyroid issues. I understand. So, Coach AJ, uh, with the High Five products, which one or a combination of any would you suggest that one would uh, take? The okay. would be the beginning one simply because it works uh, in the neural pathways. Uh, it works to drive down the, the top number and the bottom number of the, of the blood pressure. Uh, it creates an opportunity for an increased oxygen flow throughout the entire body uh, and for particularly, I guess, it's specifically with your, your, your case of, of diabetes, um, that's huge uh, because glucose uh, it goes into a form of oxygen uh, throughout the brain, and that's really mm-hmm. what allows um, a diabetic to be uh, in balance throughout the day. And so the edge creates that for diabetic particularly, but it, it, it does well for all individuals, uh, no matter the age range, uh, whether it's autoimmune diseases, uh, whether it's just, you know, normal health effects uh, of, of aging. Mm-hmm. So what about this um, iodine uh, diet? What, what, is, uh, what kind of foods are those, Coach AJ? Uh, typically, um, as Dr. Scott mentioned, the fishes uh, create that create that uh, influx into the body. Um, mm. Some of the fatty fishes, the, the salmons. Uh, you can do the cods. Uh, you can do uh, the tilapias. Those are those are good. They're not as dense, but they're they're 
you've got a, a nice consistency, that's a, a, a way to, to move into that direction. Uh, we found that beets are, are popular mm-hmm. now, if you will. They've always been around, but they are becoming more popular as a, as a way to increase uh, a balanced diet, if you will, or to increase, uh, make a diet more balanced. I do love beets. I used to hate them as a kid, but uh, that was with most vegetables. And now I find that, you know, they really taste good. So one who has a thyroid problem, Dr. Scott, what type of exercises should they be doing? Um, the, the most important thing really is to, is to get moving, and you want to definitely get your your heart rate to a certain level. So if you can do a continuous exercise um, where you get your heart rate to a, a certain level and you keep it there over a period of time, um, that's what you're looking for. And there are different ways, different exercises that you can do um, to do that. So, uh, you know, walking, a brisk walk, um, not like you're strolling in the mall window shopping, but definitely mm-hmm. a brisk walk can help with that. Um, stationary machines can help with that as well, if that's your preference. Um, I, I prefer movement that's not confined to a machine, so I enjoy um, fitness classes, whether they're the dance fitness type of classes or um, the uh, resistance training type of classes where you're using perhaps a body bar or dumbbells or um, perhaps even medicine balls or kettlebells or something of that nature. The most important thing is to choose something that's appropriate to your interests and appropriate to your, your, your fitness level. Um, sometimes people um, will get into an exercise routine that really isn't appropriate for um, their fitness level or what um, – pre-existing conditions they're stepping into the routine with. So you have to be wise enough to choose something that is good for you that won't cause further harm, and that won't turn you off because most people have some type of idea of what they like and how far they want to push themselves. And if you jump into something too quickly or too soon, um, that can be a turnoff, and then you feel less motivated to return again. So you definitely want to make a good choice in that matter. So you don't have to necessarily go out and knock yourself out, you know, with some high-intensity fitness class. You can ease your way into it um, and choose something, again, that's just going to help elevate your heart rate to get you into a training zone and keep it there for a little while. Um, You're figuring about 30 minutes. That's usually um, what you'll you'll see the recommendations are Um, multiple times a week. Hopefully, you know, somewhere around three to five times a week for most people. And, again, just taking into consideration what your day-to-day routines are and choosing something that's appropriate for your interest level, your skill level, and your fitness level. Coach AJ, the other high five and wellness products, how would they be beneficial specifically to one with thyroid? Or do you just suggest that they concentrate fully on the edge. Yeah, I I would say that really getting a, a good balanced diet and getting a regular schedule of the of the correct foods and mm-hmm. and looking at what we call our circadian cycle and Dr. Scott I know can speak to speak to this as well, and finding what the circadian cycle is, and then finding the foods that they should add into their diet that they didn't have. That's number one. That's number two. Number three, uh, once they get on a regular regimen of, of taking the edge two time, at least twice a day and more, okay. and they get on mm-hmm. that regular schedule and they begin to see benefits and feel benefits, I look at realistically 30 days, 60 days, and then, then add in uh, some other other components or some other pieces depending upon what they um, are seeking to do. What, what are their goals? What were their goals, you know, mm-hmm. once everything is put back in balance? So could we add in the boost? We could. Could we mm-hmm. add in uh, the, the lean shake? We could. But I also like to consider um, the blood type of the individual because if, mm-hmm. if someone has a sensitivity uh, to wheat and to whey, 
uh, protein, yes. uh, then that's 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 something you know you put them back with the edge because that's you don't really have to worry about that kind of that kind of piece. Uh, we also have an uh, uh, energy drink called the Fuel, and that's 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 uh, that's what I call the Bugatti of, of all of the energy drinks, and so it. Uh, it, it's pretty amazing, but it's it's really uh, really high end, and so that's for an individual who really has every component in place, and they're ready for you know a high level competition. They're ready to try a marathon. They're ready to try a half marathon, uh, and or they're working at night and they're really at the top. They're really ready to go. They're really self managed. So yes, most definitely, and. My listeners, ladies and gentlemen, guys and dolls, divas and gents, I would like to bless you tonight to be able to sample some of the products that Coach AJ just mentioned. You can go to www.connieradiohost.com. That's www.connieradiohost.com. And if you like some of my samples, I'll throw in a $10 gift card that you may be able to purchase the products that you can uh, ask for the healthy high five fuel, the high five lean, which is our healthy vanilla shake, or you can try our Montevita coffee. And if you would like to sample them, just give me a call at 505-652-2107. That is in my private studio, 505-652-2107. And Coach AJ, I understand that we have a new product coming out called the Montevita can you tell us something about that? Is it, is it another healthy product that goes with this uh, wellness family? Absolutely. I'm excited because I am such a tea drinker. Mm. <laughs> and tea drinking season here in the Midwest is coming. Mm-hmm. It is made along the same lines as the Montevita coffee simply because it has wow. the MCT oil, uh, which provides for the antioxidants, uh, the, the nutrients, the minerals, just like the coffee, but it's, but it's formulated in a tea uh, and also with a black, uh, black tea. So there's a, there's a reasonable mm-hmm. amount of caffeine, about 46 milligrams for like an eight ounce cup of coffee I and mean, that's reasonable uh, but it has a, a delicious flavor and uh, just absolutely wonderful smooth easy can't say enough great things about it definitely something you'd want to consume after you finish your workout after you've had that great meal have you tasted have either of you tasted the Montevita tea yet I have I, no I haven't but I'm so looking forward to it because I'm a tea drinker myself and um, enjoy drinking tea and this will just be another another way for me to um, drink something that's healthy and good for me it's like a smooth, um, cinnamony kind of warm uh, taste. It, it, it's, it's just smooth, and it's, and it's got a little bit of a, uh, it's kind of got a sweet part along with the cinnamon, but it's, it's good. It, it, I really? recommend it. So you probably don't have to add sugar. If it's, if oh, no, 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 no. Really? No, you don't need to add sugar. And so I, I add high-grade honey, and that's simply because it just helps the vocal cords. For me personally now, it's, it's different for everybody, but the honey and the tea, smooth, ready to go, and you can either sing or speak through the lesson that day. I, yeah. I, um, my understanding is that the uh, Montevita tea is a black tea, which has, you know, because it's a black tea, has a, you know its own health benefits in addition to having the MCT oils in it. I'm really a coffee drinker, but I 
like Coach Jay, Jay said, we're getting into the tea season because I do drink tea in the more in the winter uh, to just have that fuzzy, warm, cozy feeling. I know that tea, you're having a cold and um, just trying to make yourself feel a little, little better. Now, I'm wondering, Coach AJ, can you make iced tea with that tea? Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Just make, oh, absolutely. Just make up the tea, ice it up, and uh, call it a day. And here in the South, they Sweet love tea. Sweet tea, oh my God! Sweet and it's so much you tea. can't even drink it. It's like <laughs> syrup, you so, know. Right, <laughs> definitely. Well, I noticed that this this article was also saying about how to improve your thyroid health is to get not only a lot of exercise, but also get adequate amounts of sleep. Um. Well, the, like the. the Thyroid is responsible for um, controlling energy levels, and one of the things that's associated with hyperthyroidism is chronic fatigue or this feeling of just being tired regardless of how Mm. much you get. So that is a symptom. Um, One of the things about exercise is that people who exercise regularly tend to also have better sleep better quality sleep. So it's not, all, it's not always about the length of time that you're sleeping. It's also about the quality of the sleep that you're getting. So, you know, some people can go to bed um, with the intention of having, you know, seven to eight hours of sleep, but then they spend, you know, four of those hours tossing and turning or waking up every hour, and the quality of the sleep is, is bad. Um, and you can have someone who may get a shorter sleep period, but they really get good sleep, but they get into that zone where they're getting good quality sleep. And that can have um, an impact on your, your stress levels. Um, um, one of the other things that stress can cause is, is weight gain. So, again, you have this mm. effect that, you know, a domino effect where one thing impacts the other, impacts the other. So um, getting good quality sleep is definitely um, important, and exercise can help assist you with that. Uh, People who exercise regularly tend to get better sleep. So you definitely want to get, make sure you get um, enough sleep and get good quality sleep if you're dealing um, with thyroid problems particularly. And our Montevita tea may help you uh, to have a nice, comfortable uh, sleep at night. I know that uh, tea usually gives you that really cozy feeling. Uh, And so, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to try some of our products, some of our healthy products, some of our wellness products, please go to www.connieradiohost.com. That's www.connieradiohost.com. Or you can call me at my studio at 505-652-2107. Take a break. Meditate. Soak in the tub. Go on vacation. Do whatever works for you. And we will be talking on some of our other shows, First Lady Connie Reeves and Pastor Overseer Clyde Lawrence out of Los Angeles, where we will be talking to the young professionals and to baby boomers about how to relieve your stress by traveling the world. You can have a very comfortable, uh, better lifestyle. So I thank you so much listening to us tonight. And we, ladies and gentlemen, divas and gents, we are just here to educate you on how to get money, make money, and save money.